When a dentist says you need a crown, do you feel like you need to be royalty to afford it? Instead, look at it as an investment in your mouth. Dr. Terry Alani shows us a whole lot of work goes on behind the scenes before that porcelain crown ever makes it to your mouth. Welcome to Dr. Terry Alani's Tooth Academy. And today I want to educate the viewers on how a crown is born. So many people leave their offices having crowns put in and they have no idea how they're made. So today I'm going to take you through a tour of my dental lab and show you exactly the expertise that's needed into making these crowns. So why don't you follow me? Hi Mike. Hi Dr. Lonnie. I have something for you. A crown is born. The dentist first prepares the tooth for the crown. An impression of the tooth is taken to record the shape. This is all done in the patient's mouth. Once that impression is taken, it is then boxed up with the bite registration and sent to the dental lab for the process to begin of how a crown is born. The laboratory receives the case and pours up the impression by using a special plaster. This is now the model of the exact tooth that the doctor prepared. The next step involves making a die. The model is sawn into three pieces with a cut on either side of where the crown is needed. The area where the crown meets the top edge of the gum is marked in red. This is incredibly important as this differentiates the great dentist from the average ones. This next step is difficult and requires lots of skill. Wax is actually added to the die to make it look like a real tooth. A machine presses it and replaces it with porcelain. In the next step, layers of porcelain are built up. This takes time and a trained technician, and the technician must have a great eye for color. The technician will actually use photos to use the right shades of porcelain and build up the layers in the correct way to give the same appearance as the patient's adjacent teeth. After porcelain layers are built up, they are fired in the furnace. After firing, a burr is used to grind the porcelain into exactly the correct shape so that the sides are in line with the adjacent teeth. They also grind in detail to match other teeth and make sure the crown is in correct position. Finally, the crown is put into a glazing oven to produce a shiny finish and oola, a crown is born. Remember, next time you have a crown made, someone somewhere has tailor made it especially for you and this is how crowns are born. Thank you, Mike. My patient's going to love it. Bye. And welcome the proud mother of that <laughs> crown, Dr. Terry Alani. Hi. <laughs> that because it, truly a lot of times we don't realize what it takes actually for that to, to get to our mouth. Nobody understands that. It's a lot of work and you really have to have great communication with your lab to get a great cosmetic result. Yeah, it's essential. Good quality. I love that the no metal uh, so you don't have that black line at the gums that sometimes you see people have. Exactly. In our office most all of our crowns except in the very back are made porcelain uh, with porcelain and metal free because you don't want that black line. You want it to look as aesthetic as possible. In this uh, particular patient the patient had come in and they did have the existing crowns that had the metal underneath them uh -huh. and we replaced them with all porcelain and you can see you can't see anything oh my gosh, the, gum the difference here this is amazing now yeah. what would determine you needing a crown obviously when you have like exactly yeah. if your yeah. teeth are broken down um, if you've had a root canal, a lot of times you have to have a crown. If you've cracked a tooth, broken off. So usually when you don't have enough tooth structure to support just a filling. Yeah. All right. So the margins of the crown need to be sealed correctly. Uh, you have to ask, you know, does the crown have good contours? Well, the, the most important thing, there's a lot of important things as far as the margins being sealed. The margin is where the tooth meets the crown. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have a perfect seal, and that takes a great technician plus also the dentist ability to prepare the crown. Because you can get a gap underneath there and that's how you get decay. Mm -hmm. The people will come in and say, how do I have an, a, a, like a, another cavity when I have this crown put on top? Exactly. Yeah. And then we go to the contours. The contours are really important and you have to have a great technician because you want to make that tooth look exactly like your natural teeth. Yeah. And also you want to make sure that food 
uh, flows over the crown just like it does your natural teeth because if you don't have good contours you can get periodontal disease you can aggravate the gums um, and it can cause a lot of problems and your bite has to be right which is the reason why you constantly have us kind of I do the people bite know biting is a down. science yeah. the yeah. bite has to be exactly correct I don't know how many times any uh, uh, your audience has gone to a dentist and the crown has been slightly high mm -hmm. if it's not exactly perfect then you can actually get headaches and it can cause some some drama to your the teeth. The other teeth. issue is to be aware of foreign dental labs. We saw that crown that was made down the street basically, right? Okay, a crown is not just a crown and I know people will go to discount places and think they're going to get the same result but you're not because what happens is some dental labs will outsource to let's say China and their regulations are not what ours are so you can get impurities in your uh, porcelain you can have lead in them you can Ink. have nickel so it's not the same because it affects the integrity of the crown and you want it to last a long time yeah yeah you want, so by having it made here you have quality control. and the dentist doesn't pass that savings on to the patient <laughs> that's the catch the fees are still the same so you yeah. really have to be careful all right dr. Lonnie thank you very much